Now this here is a pharaonic statue of Horus, the sun and the falcon god, his real father Osiris in the middle and his mother Isis to the right. And because Osiris, his sexual organ couldn't be found anymore, they put this symbolically on his head. Look very carefully on his head, the one in the middle. The main tool for a circumcision altogether forming the reason that his phallus couldn't be found anymore or at least part of it just as the obelisk is a phallic symbol and as it is carved on top being a symbol for the circumcision altogether the work of the penis worshippers one could say inherited within the religious beliefs it's absolutely forbidden to mutilate God's creation by cutting off a big chunk of a defenseless child. Now look at it very carefully here. We're going to see it again in a minute. Just look at it carefully, these two things on this side. Well, here we can see it again, this thing that Osiris has on his head, the guy who couldn't find his uh, sexual organ anymore. Well, here it is. And this is for removing the sexual organ, isn't it? Here it is, exactly the same thing. And there are many more sort of pictures of it. It's called the life cycle. Uh, it, so these are the circumcision tools. Well, hello Osiris, at least we know what you wearing on your head now a life cycle and there are many more pictures to be found right bottom so these are typical pharaonic tools still being used today there it is and it was indeed Seth or Seth on, Set on, Satan, or Satan, or the devil himself. In most European countries, it's being uh, pronounced as uh, Satan, Set on, you know. So, Satan or the devil himself who killed Osiris. The circumcision has pharaonic origins, and it was Set on idea in the first place to mutilate the slaves because when done so the sexual desire starts at a very early age around 10 years old when the human brain has not entirely developed yet draining out nutritional liquids through the spinal column out of the brain at each ejaculation thus creating perfect slaves with an undeveloped brain and interested in one thing only as the lack of the foreskin creates a perpetual condition which a normal man would define as an erection when the glance shows. So this is an authentic pharaonic picture, so what, what do you think they're doing? Now what is he doing? Oh, he's cutting it off, isn't he? Yeah, and here's one, oh, he's showing it here, cut it off. That, chuck! Cut off God's creation. Yeah. To convince the people, Satan was very smart, using the powerful argument of fear and said it to be more hygienic, whereas God created the skin, just for those reasons in fact, to protect from dirt coming in the most sacred parts of the internal side of the organ. This is how Seton made the slaves and their desires very devoted and loyal to and controllable by Isis and her sisters. This is the true sense of this covenant or alliance with Seton and Isis. For all your people who believe in reptilians, lizards, and serpent people. Historically, I can tell you this, that the word Messiah literally means the lizard king in Demotic or Pharaonic, 
and apparently there are quite a few people in various religions around the globe who wait for the return of the Messiah or Lizard, Lizard King. So as a historian I cannot tell you if the, uh, the reptilian theory is um, correct or not but um, historically I guess I can live with it because the enemy within is very very real and they're not like us. So here we can see on his head the uh, the thing for the circumcision again there see so apparently the circumcision thing has to do with the um, with reptilians or in this case uh, Sobek of whom I will tell you more in a minute. The word Christ is Greek and means exactly the same thing as Messiah in Hebrew namely the anointed one as it was an old Hebrew tradition to massage the feet of their kings with oil anointing. The ancient Egyptians of whom all monotheistic religions come from had their pharaohs also massaged with oil namely crocodile oil extracted from crocodile fat. You see the snake there? And you see how long their hands are. That's real pharaonic. That's one of the things by which you can recognize them. Well, watch Obama's hands. They're just like Obama's hands. These are like the hands of Obaton Ama. And guess what the pharaonic or demotic word for crocodile is? Mus-ha, M-S-S-H, as in demotic, just as in Hebrew or Arabic, only the consonants are being written. And Mus-ha, almost sounds like a snake hissing, referring to the crocodile god of the pharaohs, Sobek, who once came out of the water and created the world, and as we know, a croc is a big reptile or lizard. And here we can see Sobek together with Hathor. So within this ancient serpent religion, the pharaohs await the coming of their god and creator, the Musa or Messiah, as they force their serpent religion upon humanity through torture by force and by the violent priests of Amun. who introduced to us a statue of man nailed on a cross, meaning that he's not allowed to defend himself, because he's got his hands nailed, that he can't run away, because his legs are nailed. And he can only move his head and nod, yes darling, or shake, no darling. I'm so sorry darling, I won't do it again. Sorry, honey. Please don't hurt me. Yes, Mr. Judge. No, Mr. Judge. I will never do it again. Yes, Mr. Judge. No, Mr. Judge. Yes, Mr. President. No, Mr. President. Anything you wish, Mr. President. Yes, sir. General, sir. And with all their invisible hocus pocus, they want us to believe that there is this invisible guy up in the heavens who with all seeing eye of Amun-Ra can see everything you do, think or speak and who can come down whenever he feels to either help or punish. But in reality, no one has ever seen this Superman coming down on a cloud, pulling back a bomb or preventing a child from being murdered, raped or run over by a car. Never ever in all human history has anyone seen the God of the heavens. Instead of that, he's let millions of children die of hunger, crime and wars 
without even lifting a finger, nor even, even lifting his eyebrow. And billions of sheep will pray and await the return and resurrection of the Messiah, the Lizard King, also referred to as Sobek, the Lizard God, who created the world, who came out of the waters. And in other religions, the Pharaohs also rule, as we can see in Saudi Arabia and the heart of Islam, the all-seeing eyes of Amun-Ra on a Saudi police badge. Well, there it is again, the all-seeing eye in Mecca. <laughs> They're everywhere. The all-seeing eye of the Dajjal on the Saudi police in Mecca. Or well, what do you know? So guys, start stop talking about uh, about the dollar. You'll find this much nearer, guys. And here we can even see the pharaonic sun hieroglyph. See the pharaoh show. Even the word Kaaba is pharaonic. Go and have a look. There it is. It's pharaonic. The sun hieroglyph. And in the holy city of Mecca, Paris Hilton has uh, three handbag shops in Mecca. In Mecca where the Jamarat has already been destroyed and the Hajj has been made invalid after 2004. So we can see her small eyes and the very physically big mouth which are very typical pharaonic uh, features. So Mrs. Pharaoh in Mecca where she's being protected by the all-seeing eye of the Saudi police and the Saudi pharaohs. It's all pharaonic, guys. And they don't want the Muslim to stone the obelisk. So that's why they blew it up in 2004. I can tell you one thing. Your religion is gone. It's finished. And the pharaohs, as Mrs. Hilton here, are definitely heading for a one world religion altogether. As Mr. Hitler already said, one people, one Fuhrer, one religion, etc. One people. The Freemasons call the Mshha or Lizard King Adonai, which is a Hebrew word meaning Sir or Mister and where the word Don, as in Don Quixote, derives from. So, here we can see the uh, the Templar symbol here. Look, there it is. As we can see on all the uh, on all the tanks it's the, uh, of, of the NATO, you know, in, in Iraq. And the Israeli army has it as well, upside down. Next to Horus. So this is the symbol of um, the statue of Horus. Yeah, well, and the Masons, they came out of the Templars. And founded Switzerland, their base. There's no doubt that we are not from this planet, because we are not adapted to it at all. We have to put on clothes, otherwise we're cold. We must cook and boil everything, otherwise we can't digest it. And we must put on shoes and socks on for not hurting our soft extraterrestrial feet. And there's no evolution either, otherwise we would have furs and claws. No, we're not from here. Our creators have most probably been conquered by the ones who fight others from the inside by infiltration, who have Octagon Switzerland as their base and who await Messiah, Mesha, the Lizard King. As a historian I don't know if the lizards are here. The enemy within though is very real and there are a lot of historical proofs that the lizards are there 
and um, a lot of religious proofs as well. Among others, the word Messiah, Mesha, which means crocodile and the lizard king. In this video, I will give a name to the ones who kidnap, torture and kill our children in a highly organized way. See the Pharaoh show and the Octagon Switzerland series for the basic information. The pharaonic pedophiles Marc Dutroux and Michel Fourniret belong to Octagon, the executional force and military wing of the Templars, who kidnap the children for Hexagon, the inner circle of Freemasonry, who again protects the Satanists through their jurisdictional authorities. And if you take the square and compass, it forms a hexagram and the Templars cross and the Templars flag of the motherland Switzerland form an octagon when lines are drawn around. The police is octagon, like octagonal, like the hat. I show this in one of my other movies, which protects hexagon. The, uh, the hexagram. The, uh, the square and compass, when they have their satanic ceremonies in their castles like Sotu, like here on the picture, which sounds like Satan, Sotu, Satan, meaning set on, Seth, the pharaonic lord of darkness. And um, this castle here, it has been proven that this uh, Michel Fourniret, it belonged to him actually. And uh, they tortured and murdered children here. It is in Luxembourg and it's not very far from the other castle where Marc Dutroux, where he killed and where they had black masses with our children. It's all in the same region. It's a lot of forests, you know, nobody sees anything. Uh, there's even uh, traps in there I saw on YouTube. So, Sotu, Satan, Satan. It's, it's from Seth. I know this. Um, yeah, it's all pharaonic. It's the Pera. And here, the other castle, Chateau Amérois, which means in pharaonic, A, Me, Roi. A means big or pregnant. Me, mer or meru is the word for pyramid. And roi is a king in French, in plural. So Amerwa means kings of the big pyramid. A, me, roi. A, mer, as in the word America. America. A, me, ri, ka, which I explain in the Pharaoh show. And um, I found out something here, which cannot be seen here yet, and which nobody knows, which I'm going to show to you just in a minute, which is very, very important. So in this castle here, Marc Dutroux, the other satanic pedophile of the, um, the octagon uh, delivering the kids for the other ones, he, um, they did their parties here and this castle is just next to the other one, it's not far away. It's supposed to be in a satanic triangle. I don't know what the other point is. These satanists and rulers of the earth belong to the Per A, where the word Pharaoh comes from etymologically, meaning the big royal house of the Pharaonic dynasty to which all nobility worldwide belongs to. So, here we can see the castle of a me roi meaning the kings of the big pyramid. So now I'm going to show you what I found. See the pharaoh show? Well, this is the sun hieroglyph, there's no doubt. And in the middle, they even put the... Uh, the octagon or the uh, Swiss flag 
Now why do they put a Swiss flag here? And the, uh, the castle was built in 1788, so Switzerland already existed. And, um, and big, in fact, are there royal castles where here a me roi shows the sun, sun hieroglyph and the Swiss flag of the motherland and biggest base octagon Switzerland. And Switzerland has to stay clean and neutral. So they do it in Belgium and elsewhere, coming with private airplanes for a weekend in the castle, performing black masses. In fact, here you can see some more sun hieroglyphs. Here's the one with the Swiss flag here. And there is another one. This is a sun hieroglyph. I mean, why do you think they put it like this, you know, with the white things there? And here's two more. So, this is the castle. Dutro Castle. And when a person gets tortured over a long period of time, thus slowing down the pace of dying, then the soul can be lifted out and used as a sacrifice to Seth on. Set on. Satan, like in Soto, the castle. And they use very young children because they're still very near to their spiritual home of the souls and because adults can offer more resistance disabling the process then when someone someone dies quickly by a gunshot for instance they cannot intercept the soul leaving the body instantly and long incessant torture makes a person want to escape which he can't because he's tied up making his mind fleeing only into other dimensions, thus splitting the mind into two or more schizophrenic personalities, enab enabling hypnotic suggestions to the created double personality as let your soul go and give it to us. The castle A Me Roi was built in 1877 by or for the Père A house of Saxe Coburg Gotha, Gotha, the British royal family. I mean, it's their house where Dutroux, where they, you know, they had black messes and murder children. And if the Saxe Coburg Windsors Gothas were in fact real Germans, then why don't they go on a holiday to Germany? Go and drink beer with the Germans and eat sauerkraut with the, at the Oktoberfest. They don't. They don't like the Germans. And instead they attend skiing holidays in Klosters in the motherland Octogon, Switzerland. Where they've stashed all their money and gold as well. So, Sex Coburg has nothing to do with Germany actually. It is, um, it is Swiss and Pharaonic. And at the same time, they attend super rich Swiss boarding schools for the Per A elite only. While Switzerland is financing Adolf Hitler, while foreigners are being represented by all sort of animals in Switzerland where they had eugenics programs until 1996 and they sterilized thousands of gypsies in the 60s and the 70s and they had children slaves until 1989 and at the same time the pharaohs have a a rosy life hey eh? and here is their heraldry and we can see half of the logo of the CIA at the right side that means they're not completely uh, outfolded yet and uh, they're in a school they are only half of what are, of what are they are becoming eventually you see Le Rosé. I'll show you some more. 
Anyway, so one, another one, Monte Rosa, in the same colours as Switzerland, red and white, with a half moon, and I see the Ma'at Pharaonic symbol. And these pharaohs having a swell life while others are suffering, and at the same time as the Swiss are building three large concentration camps for immigrants. Nice. And here's another one. You see the uh, the medieval stuff there with the knights and the Templars and the, with their weapons and well, this is Switzerland. They have a nice life while they uh, while they kidnap our children. Yeah. This is uh, two-step Switzerland. Amazing uh, contrast. There's no other part in the world you find these sort of contrasts here. Nowhere else. This is not Europe. I mean, they are not Europeans. The Swiss are not. The name Coburg is from Kaburg. Ka, the soul in Pharaonic, when still alive, and Burg, a stronghold or castle in German or French, meaning the castle where our Pharaonic souls of Per A are. And in fact, Michel Fournier of the Sotou Satanic Castle earned this name in particular after a long family tradition in Octogon, the Executional Military Templar Wing, in serving Hexagon, the inner circle by delivering the kings or Tsar, see the Pharaoh show, with sacrificial children. The Fourniri family literally earned its name like this. Yes, etymologically deriving from the French word fournir, meaning to deliver, a name which used to be fourniroi instead of fourniri, the guy who delivers the kings and wears his majesty's royal seal and heraldry. In French, Fourniré vient étymologiquement suite au service au roi à travers des siècles du nom fourni roi, donc celui qui fournit le roi, avec nos gosses quoi. My son Myron was kidnapped ten years ago by the Swiss monsters of the Per A motherland octagon Switzerland. I never had any life signs ever since. My son was only two years old when they ripped him out of my life and I assume he's dead. And ever since I'm going through hell, 15 years, torture and plain terror executed by Octogon, the Swiss Nazi Templar police ordered by Hexagon the jurisdictional authorities of Octagon, Switzerland, the base of all evil and enemy of mankind, because they want to silence me up and forget my boy, and forget about what they did and are still doing. Here it shows how they want to put me in prison for speaking out on YouTube. Well, they don't like YouTube, and in Switzerland it's not allowed for a foreigner to criticize Switzerland. But here you can see that the Swiss Nazi police are in fact wearing the symbol of the Italian fascist, the, um, the Mussolini Nazi symbol. I mean, what do you want? I mean, this, this is a Nazi symbol. The same as Hitler had and, and uh, the Nazis and Mussolini. It's here. I mean, look at it. It's on a, it's on a Swiss police badge. And, uh, well, they're probably going to send the police again because I criticized them and I said, don't do what you're doing. Um, there's no liberty of speech here. Well, the Swiss, they can say what they want, but they don't. You know, they, they... laws of silence are ruling in Switzerland. Well, you can see again the Faches, where the word fascism is from. Here, on the left, there it is, like the Swiss police is wearing it. There's the Faches. 
and fascism was invented in Switzerland anyway. It's not German or Italian. It's Templar stuff. And here again we can see the same fachas, the same symbol as on the uh, the Swiss police canton uh, police badge. Uh, this is of the German Waffen SS and uh, a badge what, what the Italian uh, volunteers in the Waffen SS used to wear. So in the, um, well, I mean, the Waffen SS still exists in Switzerland, you know. So if I say the Swiss police are Nazis, well here's the proof that what I say is right. It's there. So this is the Swiss national hat. You see here the yeah, the Templars flag in the same colours, the simplified Templars flag. And it says, oh, clean Switzerland, you know. Look at how small it is. Like, here you can compare it with this here. It's very small. It doesn't even fit on my head, does it? I mean, and this is not European. I mean, nobody has this in Europe. Uh, I've seen it somewhere though, this sort of thing. It's like a little pancake. Where did I see this? Hey? I saw it on two other occasions. Well, the Pope wears it sometimes. And I saw it somewhere else as well. Well, look, this is all what they're sending me. This is about... This here is only about the... Uh, about YouTube. Look at it. It's only about YouTube. All these, look at it. All this thing, all this terror. Because it's not allowed in Switzerland, you know, to criticize Switzerland. Switzerland is clean. You know, and I've already got 10 times as much as this here over, the, over 15 years of their terror. Well, there's another one, it's still flat. So, here are just a couple of the things they're sending me. Look, this is the judge here. Mr. Baylor on um, 2012 and it's about YouTube. They don't like YouTube. The Swiss are saying here they don't like YouTube. They don't, you know, they want to hide things, you know. They, and, and it's not allowed to criticize Switzerland. Okay, it's okay to kidnap my boy. I haven't seen him in 10 years. I don't know if he's alive. I assume he's not there anymore. Uh, they make a foreigner, they tortured me and many others. That's okay, you know. Well, they, they signed the, uh, the human rights conditions like on November the 4th, uh, 1954. But okay, well, they were just, you know, otherwise we can't make any good business anymore with Europe if we don't sign this all, you know. That's why they signed it. And in case a Swiss person will have some problems like in a foreign country, that's why they signed it. Here yeah, it says, YouTube, they want me to take it off. So in 2011 I got aggressed by a cop who tried to lie something together to put me, the foreigner, in prison. And um, he hit me, I filmed him. And, um, well, they don't want this. And my other videos, you know, here it is. Two signatures, another one, Mr. Bertschi, the president, the jurisdictional hexagon president. So octagon, they executed this here, what the hexagon uh, um, commanded and gave the orders like to. So torture is okay, you know, for foreigners and killing foreigners and, and, and presenting them as all sort of animals financing Hitler in 1923, uh, the country was founded by the Templars and all that, that's all fine, you know. They murdered our child, our other child, my wife was pregnant when we got aggressed by Swiss Nazis, that's okay, you know, no problem. But wow, if you put a video and criticize Switzerland on YouTube, wow. Then you get problems. Then we're going to activate the jurisdictional authorities. All the other things, well, that's okay, you know. I mean, I mean, it's the Swiss who did it, so that's okay, yeah. You see? Yeah. 
Um, the Swiss are very, very much afraid of the, uh, the American First Amendment. Uh, they want to keep it all clean, like under the carpet, yeah? See? Um, yeah, they, they want to pay, uh, they want to have me pay, you know, enormous amounts of money. I don't know, it's already like 200,000 Swiss francs they want me to pay. There's a ransom of, of 150,000 Swiss francs for the kidnap of my son. They want a ransom. Well, I, I don't even know if he's alive, you know. And they want to, uh, the, um, the police want me to pay 40,000 Swiss francs because I, um, I filmed their, their corrupt cop. And I've got three witnesses. And I filmed them. So, but here, they just do what they want. They don't care about anything. It's a bunch of criminals. And they're very, very organized here in Switzerland. It's amazing. Yeah. But, well, I thank you, YouTube. You're my only pal. A few weeks ago, from September 6, 2012 until September 21, the huge Swiss army of the Nazi Templars of Octogon had the military exercise Stabilo Due going on, based on preparing the military for police task, tasks concerning the flux of immigrants seeking asylum in Switzerland and concerning the social unrest in southern Europe due to the economical crisis. Now here we can see the oct octagon shape of the cheese. This is octogon. I suppose there's some more people who know now that this is octogon. The Swiss criminals, the uh, Nazi Templars. Dogon. where both problems were organized by the criminal Swiss banks anyway. And if a citizen of any of these targeted nations knocks on the door of the origins of their sufferings, namely Switzerland, then the Swiss Nazi-like reaction is aggressive and highly criminal, breaking all human rights treaties. You see the Swiss flags and the, um, the Nazi-like writing at the right bottom? The Swiss banks offered a place for all worldwide dictators to put the money stolen of the national income of the oppressed people on a secret Swiss bank account so the dictator can buy more arms to terrorize his people. And Switzerland attracted the richest people in the world not to pay any more taxes in their homelands and instead paying a fraction of that in some Swiss low tax region, thus leading to extreme poverty in Greece and in Spain. And here we can see the Swiss Nazi police who always target uh, immigrants and foreigners. And, um, but the real torture of course starts inside in a very clean Swiss way where nobody can see it. And here the Swiss Nazi police, they plant something um, in the foreigner's bag. They did it with me too. They do this with everyone here in Switzerland. This, the Swiss Nazi police, they do these things all the time. Therefore, to counter the consequences and human miseries of Swiss organized crime, military exercise Stabilo Due had to take place. Stabilo means stability, with loads of sarcasm, and Duo means two. Now, if there's a stability two, there must be a stability one. And it's this we should be worried about. The typical Swiss euphemisms as clean, neutral and stability in a country that never speaks out its real intentions. So in conjunction with the Stabilo Due 
army exercise at exactly the right moment on September 26th 2012 the Swiss government officially approved the construction of three large concentration camps also referred to as Stabilo Uno uh, Stability One so here we can read the word uh, well this is in German and uh, here we can read the word concentration camp there it is Konzentrationslager and in the beginning there's the word Katzet which also means concentration camp at the top of the text here so here it says they're going to build concentration camps nobody's going to do anything Stability Star Billow or Stalag. A Stalag or Straflager is the German word for concentration camp, as uh, the word for Auschwitz was a Stalag. The Swiss say that to begin with, they put the immigrants in there who don't obey the Swiss. The government, the SVP Nazi Party, and the Swiss people apply the word Renitent, which means to oppose the will or wish of another person, that's what the dictionary says, or not, and, and not obey. Now here we can read it. We're going to build concentration camps. That's uh, the Stabilo Uno. Oh. So it openly says here in the Swiss newspaper just as open as Adolf Hitler wrote in Mein Kampf about the murder of the Jews that any immigrant who will not follow the will of the Swiss master race will end up in a concentration camp that the Swiss must be obeyed and with the Swiss Nazi Templar police and jurisdictional authorities false evidence and false witnesses are traditionally planted in order to incarcerate immigrants as they did deliberately with Mr. Sean Ross on several occasions and thousands of others and the Swiss prisons are absolutely full with innocent foreigners in already existing Swiss detention torture centers where immigrants are being suicided by the thousands and man many people have disappeared so here we can read it, just put on the pause, Let me slowly read it, well this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, Switzerland is so clean and they hide everything, it's so clean and they smile so nice, you know. Just as Hitler did, the criteria for ending up in a Swiss concentration camp start below, start luck. So just as Hitler did, the criteria for ending up in a Swiss concentration camp start luck or start below will be set down even more upon the moment of inauguration. So this is uh, what a German concentration camp looked like in 1933 in the beginning. Uh, it looked like a training camp in the beginning, the very beginning. Well, we all know what it, what it ended up with and how it looked like. So are we going to let the Swiss do what they want? Then together with Stabilo Uno, the construction of concentration camps in Switzerland, and Stabilo Due, the army exercise, there is Stabilo 3 or Stability 3 in Switzerland. The burning of asylum seeker centers as on February the 25th, 2010 in Kaplan, as we can see here. And uh, well, it says it was arson. Twenty six people got injured pretty bad.
So here we can see some of the injured people. And this year it's even worse. There were at least seven arsons in asylum seeker centers uh, and a lot of casualties. And here as well on January the 10th this year 2012 in Bermansdorf, Switzerland. It's a sort of a weird title, you know, like uh, it's the foreigners again who did it, you know. Well, here we can read it. So the, t the title says the foreigners did it again, you know, they can't behave. And here it says the, um, the reason of the fire has, has not been uh, concluded yet. You know, it's, all, it's always the same. They don't know how it started. Yeah. So this year again, one month later, on February the 13th, 2012, in Wilmergen, Switzerland, uh, many people got injured. About every week here in Switzerland, uh, immigrants and asylum seekers have to jump out of the second or third floor of a burning building. And the police always says, well, it happened in the kitchen. It's the Oriental cooking who did it. Yeah. So this is this newspaper here, you can read the date, you can look, oh it's burning, oh this is Switzerland, and uh, they, all, they all work together, the police, the arsonists, the Nazis, the jurisdictional authorities, the politicians, they all work nicely together in Switzerland. Oh boy, they like burning down things, you know. And a couple of weeks later, in the same month of 2012 in Switzerland, again on February the 22nd in Frauenfeld, Switzerland, another asylum seeker center mysteriously burned down. Here we can see it. See, this is the newspaper, you can read the date. And they never know who did it, you know, it's always the same. It was oriental cooking of the foreigners and the immigrants, because uh, you should do Swiss cooking, apparently. Well, here we can read it again, how the people were sleeping, but still the cooking was going on, they say, the oriental cooking, but they were sleeping. Yeah. Very lucky. Happens every week in Switzerland. So here we can see it burning. Switzerland burning of the asylum seekers, centers. Well, this is the real Switzerland. Oh. This is the real Switzerland. It's not a clean place. And here again, only a couple of weeks later, on March the 2nd, 2012, in Switzerland, Milan, another asylum seeker center burns down. And the big Swiss newspapers, they don't even mention it with one single word. It's only the Swedish newspaper, 20 minutes, who does so. So this is Switzerland, nice and clean and neutral, we never do anything wrong, at least, well, nobody knows it, you see, and here you can read it, another word in the international media, but every week some immigrants have to jump down from the second or the third floor. And a lot of them, they got injured for life. Nice Switzerland. A month later, or two, again in uh, Switzerland, a fire in a uh, asylum seeker center in Landquart in Graubünden on July the 15th, 2012. 
it's funny here the police says it was arson usually they don't well maybe because this is another canton it's called Graubunde it is a bit different uh, they're not entirely Swiss German here I see And here we can see it again the uh, the arson in Landquart. And two months later, again on October the sixth, two thousand twelve, in Hohenrein, Luzerne, Switzerland, another asylum seeker center burned down. And again, people got uh, sincerely injured. A guy had to jump from the third floor. Here we can see the date when it happened. Yeah, we can all read it. Just push the pause button. Yeah, and again, you know, it's uh, must have been the Oriental cooking. You know, I'll show you how it burns. Here we can see how it's burning. Okay. Well, here we can see it burn again, and the newspaper or the police or whatever, you know, they're asking for witnesses because they can't find any. Usually, with any crime, they find they in Switzerland they always find lots of witnesses. There's always some Swiss who saw it, you know, and he saw some foreigner doing it. And here, with these sort of things, they never find any witnesses. Well, here it says they're looking for witnesses. Well, they won't find any. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know that. Uh, it's the laws of silence in Switzerland. Uh, they only see something when a foreigner did it or not even did it. And there were many more asylum seeker centers being burned down this year with many casualties and wounded to which the Swiss Nazi police only says that the arson was caused by oriental cooking of the foreigner himself and the Swiss left wing is non-existent as you can see on the picture here you see the Swiss, the Swiss flag concerning human rights they are non-existent non-existent the Swiss left wing concerning human rights matters as they nourish the very same right-wing idea behind thoughts as the rest of octagon the swiss left-wing pretenders only differ with the right-wing about how tax money and bnp is going to be divided nothing more the whole idea of concealing the real intentions of being transported to a concentration camp is very swiss and not very German. So the victims don't fight for their lives. Oh, you just have to take a train there and then everything will be okay. And you can eat, have a bed and a shower. And until the shower opened up, it was too late. And before that, everyone had hopes. You know. So here we can see some Swiss posters which are shown in the streets this year. There's even an email. This is Switzerland, you know, somebody do something. See the black uniforms and the guy with no hair, uh, Swiss Nazi police. The Swiss enjoy to play with the uh, victim sufferings. They really enjoy that. Switzerland is like next door's serial killer who's clean low profile, neutral, who's always smiling and who does a lot of social engagement for the community like working for the Red Cross but having a very big cellar 